You guys know I love doing my community votes where you decide what are the most annoying creatures, the most dangerous, your favourite biomes, weapons and more. Today though we're doing something a bit different. I took the votes that you guys gave in a series of polls and I've put it all into a tier list. Shout out to Paralyzer for his great tier videos which partly inspired me to mix my own polls and give you the definitive what is the toughest bug in Grounded. Let's go. So I ended up doing like 12 votes and I tried to match kind of creature sizes and where you meet them in the yard. Otherwise, we all know that a lot of the bosses are simply going to be up there. But depending on where you are in the game, some creatures really are S tier, even if they're not actually fully fledged final bosses. So try to put the winners of each poll higher than the rest of the actual entries. So tier F, of course, we're not going to bother with the pole. These creatures are harmless, they won't hurt you. Although gnats are annoying the way they bop your weapons out of your hands. But let's face it, if you have any kind of trouble killing weevils, grubs, water boatmen, tadpoles or them gnats, then yeah, maybe Grounded's not the game for you. But there is a couple surprises of why you may be not seeing certain creatures here too, which I'll talk about later. In theory, we've got red ants, mites, aphids, water fleas, rust teas, spiderlings, and infected weevils. Yes, aphids aren't hard to kill, but they are hard to catch, and they often get you in trouble with other creatures. So I would say that's why they warrant a place above the others. We all know how troublesome ants can be, especially if you go into the anthill and try stealing their eggs. Even without their soldiers, they can be pretty formidable when they're in groups. The same goes for mites as well. More annoying than anything, as long as you've got a good axe or a blade, you should be able to handle yourself. The exploding weevils, they can absolutely wreck you if you're not paying enough attention, but they're super easy to dodge or just take out in a few hits. I would say actually the water fleas are probably some of the more challenging creatures, especially if you don't obviously have a decent spear or a blade. With that added pressure of being underwater, certainly a challenge. And if you've got no armour at all, then the Rustees can actually catch you unawares and do a fair amount of damage as you explore the hedge. And then lastly, the spiderlings. Obviously these guys can, again, do a lot of damage when there's more of them, little bites all attacking you at once. But ultimately, none of these creatures should really give you any problems as long as you've got the most basic of armour and weapons going. Now we're on to where I started putting some of the creatures from the votes into the actual tier list. It's all about numbers for some creatures and the larvae can absolutely wreck you when there's more than one of them. Even with that on their own, their unpredictable attacks can sometimes catch you off guard. But once you learn it, once you've got that rhythm and a good spear, you should be able to take these out pretty easily. I put the larvae, the red soldier ants and the diving bell spiders all as part of the same pole and they did not win. Without the right kind of armour, diving bell spiders can actually hit like a truck. And the water element does add a little bit more difficulty to it. We all know how annoying the red soldier ants can be and how protective they are. The rest of the list are made out of the Taze T, the Orb Weaver Junior, Black Ants and Infected Mites. Pepperidge Farm remembers when Orb Weaver Juniors were tougher than their bigger brothers. And obviously Taze Ts are just a little bit harder hitting and tougher to kill than the Ruzz Ts, but not really much of a challenge anymore. You might have had some difficulty taking out the Infected Mites in the Hayes Laboratory, but that's about as tough as they get. And of course black ants have just got a bit more health than the regular red ones with no extra or different abilities. My toughest bug out of this tier list D, I would actually say the diving bell spiders as they really can hurt a lot and they do take quite a few hits to kill, especially when you're swimming around. Just about the only reason worth getting the trident to hopefully make this easier. So moving on to C tier and there's a huge selection here from tier two to tier threes and even a passive Yes, the scarabs are on this tier. You basically need special upgraded equipment to catch one and kill one, otherwise they're gonna be lost forever, hence why I've put them up pretty high. And again, remember where you are at the stage of the game, things like bombardier beetles can be a challenge with all the acid spitting out and burning you, especially when you've only maybe just got yourself clover armor. All weavers have always been a bit more scarier than actually dangerous, but again, once there's one or two of them on you, it does cause a little bit of confusion and certainly it can be more dangerous. Fireflies are no problem as long as you've got a good amount of range and maybe a crossbow, otherwise two or three of them swarming at you can really slow you down and cause a lot of problems. 
Black Ant Soldiers, again, are just a beefed up cousins of the Red Soldiers. Black Ant Soldiers can be a bit of a pain as they're much tankier, but again, they've still got the same sort of weaknesses that the other ants do. Arkars can be a pain, especially in the actual Assistant Manager boss fight, but otherwise, they shouldn't be too tough to deal with in the pond. And then we're at the Tier 3 creatures, which most of them live in the upper yard. Remember, it's all about where you are in the game, what kind of armor and weapons you've got. Although these are definitely tougher than the ones we've just spoken about, they certainly aren't as bad to deal with, hopefully, by the time you've got to that upper yard, because you've got pretty decent weapons and armor. And they're on the same tier, the Fire Ants, the Fire Ant Soldiers, but I'd actually face off against the Soldiers any time, because they simply are just a bit easier, as they don't have that acid sudden attack. As long as you've got a good shield and quick enough to parry double time, then again Ladybird shouldn't be too much of a problem. Dust Mites aren't too bad, but you don't want to be having a fight with them with other creatures nearby, as their dust can really slow you down and make you more prone to attack from others. And then you've obviously got the Ticks, the much tougher, harder cousin, but at least these guys don't actually have the dust attack. But rip if you haven't got some decent upgraded armour and you come across some. And then you've got the Termite Soldier. Again, not really much of a challenge compared to the actual worker, but its dust can reduce your damage output, so it's always going to be more of a danger. For sure, if we had this on a sliding scale, a lot of these Tier 2 creatures would be on the top end of C, maybe approaching B. And likewise, some of these creatures would be on the bottom end, maybe approaching D. But where you are in the state of the game and where you might come across them, some of the early game creatures like the Bombardier Beetle, like the Arkars, they will be more challenging than some of the late game creatures. There are just so many in the B tier. These are the creatures, no matter what stage of the game you're at, they will always offer a bit more of a challenge. Whether it's because they're just tanky, maybe you need special kind of gear, this tier is filled with some of our most hated creatures, and absolutely one of them's got to be the Mosquito. This was the creature that won in the poll against Bell Spider, Red Ant Soldier and Larvae, and I can really see why, although so many of you guys were questioning how difficult they really are nowadays, as you only need to stun them and they'll be falling on the floor and can quickly get some hits in. But they are unpredictable and there's usually two or three of them at once. Rattling off the rest of the entries, we've got Infected Larvae, Ladybugs, Bees, Ant Lions, Roly polies, the sick version and normal, the ladybird larvae, which I would rank as some of the toughest to fight, the termite king, an actual mini boss almost on the same level as some of these, absolutely when you think about how tough they are to beat, and then of course termites themselves, which are often are a little bit more difficult to take on than the termite soldiers, again just because they're acid and the sheer amount of them. Stink bug, yes, is up here, you guys voted it as one of the toughest creatures in the polls. Once you've got a gas mask, a spear, or some good amount of arrows, they shouldn't be too tough. And although the infected ladybirds have got less health to deal with in terms of actual pure hits, they can still be a formidable challenge with all the explosions going on. And then we've even got a boss, the Mant. Considering the rest of the bosses and the stage of the game, the Mant isn't actually that tough to beat comparatively to its fellow bosses. And although you guys voted the Tiger Mosquito as one of the most powerful and hard to beat, it still relatively is just an upgraded cousin with no real new abilities, so it still makes up part of this tier, alongside Widow Spiderlings. No real complaints, and lines are just chunky chunky boys, and you can hopefully deal with them with a lot of stun and quick moving weapons. And bees are just more annoying than maybe even really dangerous, as long as you've got a good shield, you can hopefully stun them quickly. I'm sure this is going to cause a lot more debate in the comments about some of these creatures, but just bear in mind where you meet them in the game, what kind of gear you should have by that point, and whether or not it really is a challenge compared to some of the other creatures. Hopefully some of you guys would agree. You can go and check out the poll votes as well, where many of these ones in this tier won their respective polls. We're in the end game now, tier A, only one more to go after this, and I think there will be some surprises, maybe, hopefully, as you might expect, filled with bosses and some of the toughest creatures in Grounded. So the Brood Mother, the Moth, the Assistant Manager, the Wolf Spider, the Green Shield Stink Bug, they've got the Wasp, we've got the Black Ox Beetle, and the Wasp Drone. So the original, and in my opinion, still one of the best, the Broodmother. There's absolutely no doubt about it. This creature was terrifying 
in the first proper iteration. She then was made a bit easier, but has returned now to be more of a challenge with all new attacks and debuffs. In my opinion, you're meant to take care of the Broodmother before you start adventuring up towards the upper yard. Pretty much as soon as you do get the Coltana, that's your cue to go ahead and take her on. I personally would have put her even higher, but you guys didn't vote her that highly when you came up against other creatures. So I'm respecting what I said about the rules, and that's why she's simply a A tier and not an S tier. Spiders have always been the star of the show in Grounded, so terrifying they had to introduce a special blob mode. And of course the wolf spider is definitely up there as an A tier creature. For sure, again, once you learn how to deal with it and once you get that Mithridism unlocked from killing a bunch of them, it definitely becomes a lot easier. But again, seared into my psyche is the older version of the wolf spider that truly was terrifying and was the apex creature that you didn't want to go up against. Of course, time and new additions have meant that she has lost her crown, now replaced maybe by the Black Widow and of course the infected versions of the Wolf Spider. Black Ox Beetles, of course, are the tanky big boys. They absolutely will mash you up with throwing their rocks, sitting on you or simply trying to gouge you with their horns. And because they're so tanky, I think that's what makes them so formidable and tough to beat. Flip side to that argument, of course, is you have to face off against them so many times if you want to keep upgrading your armor and weapons that you should be well used to taking them on. So I probably would put this on a lower side of tier A, close to maybe B. There's an argument that a regular stink bug is harder to defeat than a green shield bug, given you don't have probably access to a gas mask the first time you come across one. But the green shield variety are just simply much bigger, much chunkier and hit harder. If we were talking not just toughest, but most annoying, the WAS drones have got to be up there, right? I mean, the WAS are bad enough, but the drones are just so finicky in flying away from you and then giving you that horrible debuff. Admittedly, they're not too dangerous when you get them on your own, usually only when you've got the other WASP attacking, that's when they're really a danger. Relatively new, but definitely worthy of being in the upper tiers. Of course, moths will never harm you unless you harm them, and they're fairly tough to find, so really, they might not always have to be at the top part end of the B tier, but they are deadly once they get going, with its various abilities being able to rip you to shreds. Hear me out though, out of all the creatures mentioned, I think the assistant manager is probably perhaps the most OP for this stage of the game. You've literally just got the ability to maybe upgrade a few of your weapons based on finding some of the upgrade rocks, but you can't really max anything out. Perhaps not the assistant manager himself necessarily tough to beat, but the arena with all the traps and the minions that get summoned, I think this is massively one of the toughest boss fights in the game. Basically Obsidian saying, you know what, you mess around, you're going to find out. Shout out to the Org tier bugs as well, which I didn't include in any polls, because I honestly forgot about them. Of course these guys are annoying, and they are tough as well, but they're not necessarily that hard to defeat. By the time you actually activate them and have them running around the yard, you should have plenty of upgraded weapons to deal with them. But here we are, the cream of the cream, the baddest, toughest bugs, creatures in Grounded. And of course, going to give my opinion on which one is really the toughest for its stage. But yes, we've got the Infected Broodmother, we've got the Woz Queen, we've got the Man, Director Schmechter, Infected Wolf Spider, and yep, Black Widow. It was honestly amazing when the Black Widow got revealed in 1.0. How could we have a creature that was tougher to beat than maybe the assistant manager or even the actual broodmother in some people's eyes just roaming around and a bunch of them also that we had to farm up? With its new Venom ability that was bypassing our Mithridism mutation and basically just poisoning us no matter what, it was a learning curve trying to defeat these guys. No weaknesses to anything, only slightly maybe generic, but everything else absolutely just didn't matter what you used. I truly probably would have had this as the top of the top, the absolutely S tierist of creatures. Yes, there is other creatures tougher to beat, but overall, when you think about what resistances you have to some of her big abilities, namely that Venom, there's nothing to fight against it. And at this stage of the game, you're still probably progressing through the main story, so it's a real challenge coming up across one for the first time. The Wasp Queen isn't too hard. Again, it's the drones that get summoned alongside the fight that make this boss fight much more harder. 
And after recently defeating all bosses in my 100 days, I realized that actually the Mantis is probably the easiest out of the later game bosses. When it first launched, it was formidable, even breaking people's FPS, it was that tough. There's a strong argument you could even replace Director Schmechter with the Assistant Manager, bearing in mind where and how you meet them, and in terms of their overall toughness, what one would actually be worthy of S tier and A tier. But the arena for Director Schmechter is still pretty challenging, and just as challenging as the Assistant Manager one. So, we only really have one question. Infected Wolf Spider or Infected Broodmother? Obviously, I think I know the answer, and I think you guys do too. The wolf spider is terrifying. Always has been, always will be. Then you went and added explosive damage to it and a ability that you just cannot block. Once you get your fresh tools and maybe learn to fire at range, yeah, sure, it might not be as challenging, but there's no doubt about it. The infected wolf spider is still formidable to this day, and the fact it's so freely just running around parts of the yard makes it even more harder to beat. But of course, the infected broodmother is the toughest bug in Grounded, undoubtedly. It smashed its pole, obviously winning. And yes, it may be an optional boss that you don't actually have to really fight. Although if you want 100% completion, you do now. This is truly one of the toughest boss fights I've ever faced off against. Its attacks and debuffs will carry on affecting you throughout the fight. And just when you think you've defeated it, it rises from its watery grave to face off against you again. Getting tougher and tougher, faster and faster, and doing more damage truly is the toughest thing I think I've faced. The fact you also have to mine this basically and carry on fighting him to get all of the goodies, especially its stuffed variant, and yeah, good luck finding a more challenging, more tougher bug to fight in any other game. A worthy winner. You can go and check out all the poll votes that I did on my community tab still, and look out for more community-focused videos in the future from me. Let me know your top three toughest bugs in the comment section and I'll see you rat bags for more videos soon. Bye bye.